What is up you guys? So today's gonna be a new video and in this video I'm gonna be analyzing Rory Kramer's video style because I think his style is very unique and everyone's analyzing Sam Calder but I think Rory Kramer is someone fun we can analyze so today I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some of the techniques he uses and even some editing tricks in Premiere Pro that you can use to create similar looking effects to his. Disclaimer, I don't want you guys to be like copying his video style. I kind of just want you guys to like use some of his techniques to kind of build up your own style and yeah, be creative. Okay, so first off, we're going to be talking about some of his effects that he uses. So one of the first effects that I noticed in his latest video, which was filmed in Iceland, I believe, he has a lot of drone footage. So with the drone footage, he creates like a parallax looking effect where it's kind of zooming in but zooming out at the same time. So what he does is with the drone, it's probably shot in like 4K or something, um, but in post-production, it's already zoomed in. So while the drone is moving forward, he scales out so it creates that cool effect. And I'll show you guys how to do this in Premiere Pro. Okay, so as you can see, I have my drone clip right here, and it's moving forward. And so you're going to need a drone clip that's moving forward or moving backward, but it's moving for quite a bit of time. And when I move the sequence into the timeline, my drone clip is at a higher quality than my sequence settings. So if I scale it down to like 70, that's like the actual size of the drone. But for this whole parallax effect, we can use this to our advantage. So you can scale in your drone clip more if you want to create a bigger effect, but I'm just going to keep it at 100. So in the beginning of the clip, I'm going to press the keyframe button for scale and then go to the end of the clip. And then we're going to bring that down to its full size. So that's about 72. So now if you watch it back, it has this parallax effect. It's moving forward while it's scaling out. And if you kind of speed it up like Rory Kramer does a lot, I'm going to press Command R and then change it to 200, twice the speed. And you can see the effect even more clearly. So yeah. Another very popular technique that he uses and a lot of other filmmakers uses is speed ramping. And I have a speed ramping tutorial, so I'll leave it in the description. One major thing that I think people don't realize about his videos is that he uses the Glidecam HD 2000. And what a Glidecam is, if you don't know, is like a stabilizer for your camera. And he uses this like all the time, so he could always get smooth shots. And then when he edits it, he can kind of speed up and then slow it down and it'll always be smooth, which not many people could do with like handheld. Another effect that he uses, he kind of did it after Sam Calder did it, but he uses the zoom transition and I have a tutorial in the description where you can watch how to do the zoom transition in Premiere Pro. A lot of his shots he likes to take like on his own while he's traveling and stuff. So a lot of them are of him and with like a tripod. It's like staying still, but he makes the illusion that someone's filming him or something by scaling in or scaling out. So that's a good tip to use while you're traveling if you're by yourself and no one is like good at filming you. You can film with a tripod and then you can scale in to create the illusion that it's not on a tripod, you're someone's filming you. Okay, so one very important thing is matching music to the beat and Rory Kramer does this very well. many different techniques to kind of like match everything to the beat. I actually just uploaded a tutorial on how you can match the clips to the beat of the music and this is super important in making your travel videos like flow nicely because I can never watch a video that is like not matching correctly to the beat if the beats are really like harsh. He uses a lot of different camera techniques so he's always moving with the camera like using his glide cam and he's very well known for being an amazing concert videographer. He does it for the Chainsmokers and Justin Bieber and yeah. So I think he's really good at using the glide cam and getting like cool shots. So now one of the very last things about Rory Kramer and the most important thing in my opinion, uh, the reason that I love him so much is that he inspires you with every single video that he creates. He always just like does voiceovers or like says things trying to inspire you to like run it or like, you know, fear, like different topics and it really motivates you. Not a lot of filmmakers inspire you and I think Rory Kramer is like the best at inspiring people. Yeah, I think it's very cool that he can like show off his life and like show what he's doing, but he, but you don't feel like, you know, bad about your life. You feel like, oh my God, I want to go out and like have fun. And I think he's really great at 
doing that. So yeah, that's some of the things I got from Rory Kramer Style. You guys can leave different comments in the description, like, if you want to add on to that stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to leave his channel in the description. Honestly, he's incredible. I am so thankful for him because, honestly, in the beginning, he was one of the biggest inspirations in inspiring me to make travel videos. So yeah, thanks, Rory. Um, so I hope you guys learned something from this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video peace